Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Samsung One UI running on the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. So as you know, Samsung One UI is Samsung's latest interface, and it's running Android 9.0 Pi. So let's dive in and take a look at everything. Now, the official version is going to be coming out to consumers in January, at least in the United States. So let's start with the very basic things uh, such as navigation. So if I tap on the app switcher here, as you can see, you've got the new interface. So let me just launch a couple applications here. Let's launch the phone. Uh, let's launch the, uh, the internet. And let's tap on this one. And as you can see, we have these cards uh, which take from Android Pi 9.0. Now, one thing that you're going to notice with these cards is when you pull them up, and this is something new, uh, you can tap on the actual icon and it's going to give you a bunch of options. So this is part of the Samsung One UI. And if I go over here, I can tap on this one and I get a bunch of options. And as you can see, the icon matches the actual application. So if I tap on this one, I have the option to go into the app info if I wanted to, or I can tap on it, or I can tap on it again and I can go into, for example, if I tap on this one here, I can do the split screen view. Uh, that's going to be working this way. So let's do it like that. So now I have split screen. Let me cancel that for a minute. And then of course, if I go home, I can tap on X that kills a uh, split screen, tap it again. Uh, tap on this one, I can do pop-up view, so I can tap on open and pop-up view, and boom, now I got the pop-up view uh, accessible right from the actual app switcher instead of having to swipe from top down. Okay, so let's go to the settings. I'm going to show you one more thing with the navigation bar. So if I tap on uh, settings, uh, one thing that I want you guys to understand is the Samsung One UI is designed uh, so everything comes towards you so you can use it one with one hand. So normally if I go to the display, it's going to look like the old display. But if I was holding the phone with one hand and I wanted to access the top of the screen, all I would do is swipe down like this and then everything comes towards me so it's accessible with my thumb if I'm holding the, home, uh, the phone with one hand. Now in the display, I want to go down to the navigation uh, bar and here I'm going to show you a couple new things. So obviously these are already here so you can swap the buttons over here. Uh, the, the back goes here, the recent comes here. I like to keep it this way. Uh, but you have the full screen gestures. For this one, we have to turn off the one-handed mode if it, if it was in fact enabled. So if I turn that off, now I have a full screen gesture. So that's home. Again, that's recents, uh, recent apps, and that's the back button. If I, go, if I want to go back, I go back like that. If I want to go home, I go like that. If I want to bring up the recents apps, I go just like that, and they come right up. All right, so let's tap on one more here just to show you the... Uh, couple windows side by side so that's absolutely fantastic let me go back home real quick and again if I go into any one of these apps uh, at the bottom you'll see three uh, horizontal bars that show you the buttons are available and waiting for you right there so that's a great point of reference anyway uh, let's go back into the settings I'm going to show you one more thing that's brand new with the Samsung One UI so if you tap on display you'll see an option called the night mode uh, basically, if you turn this on, everything is going to turn into black and white. Not black and white, just darker theme. So if, if it's the nighttime, it's going to be easy on the eye. So every single thing, as you can see, is black and white, including the notifications panel. And most of the apps that you use on a daily basis, uh, such as the phone application, is also going to be dark. So if I go to the messages, again, you're going to be, uh, you're going to be seeing dark stuff right there. So let's go back out. Uh, one more thing, if you do go to the message application, you'll notice that all the buttons are going to be down here, again, so you can easily access them with one hand, all right? So let me turn off the dark mode real quick so we can see everything nice and clear. So night mode turned off. So those are some of the new features in the display category. Uh, if you're wondering what the edge panels look like, let's swipe over, boom, that's the edge panels. They look uh, normal, but if you do tap this button here, you get a quick preview of the edge panels, and from here you can quickly jump from one panel to the other, just like that. Okay, so that looks good. Again, if you notice, everything is down, so you can access them easy. So the same thing is happening with the notifications panel. So let me just clear that up. So if I pull this down, as you can see, the whole thing comes towards me, again, accessible with one hand. You now have a search button here that allows you to search the phone. Uh, normally, again, you have to go in here, tap over here, and search. But with this one, you can pull it down just like that, and boom, you can search it right away. And of course, it's going to search uh, the entire phone. 
And other things you have here are the settings, button order, button grid, status bar, contact us. Now the button order is the same thing. You can just change the order of the buttons. You know this one. Uh, if you tap on this one, you can tap on button grid. You can have a three by three if you want to have bigger buttons. Uh, same stuff, but just looks different. I do want to show you guys every single thing uh, that's possible to be seen. If you go to the status bar, it'll take you into the status bar option that allows you to change the recent notifications or all notifications. Uh, do you want them to show up on the top here? Only three or all. You can turn off this battery percentage meter on and off. Let's go back, pull this down, and that's that. Now, if I tap here on this arrow, uh, I also have this menu that allows me to switch the brightness, turn on and off the adaptive brightness, and then I can tap on details here and it's going to take me into the display settings. So if you want to quickly go to the display settings to make a change, boom, boom, tap, details, and you're in display, all right? Now let's take a look at some of the new clock styles that they have added. So if I go into the uh, lock screen, and if I go, the always on display is turned off right now. Let me just turn it on for a minute, but let me go into the clock style. So if I tap on this one, uh, and if I choose the lock screen clock style, you'll notice that I have all these different and new clock style. So these are the same ones that you're going to see on your Note 9 right now. Uh, but if I swipe over, you'll see some new uh, additions uh, to the actual uh, lineup. And if I cancel this up, if I tap this one more time, I can go to the always on display. And again, over here, you've got all these new additions. Now I noticed that on this beta, uh, when you go to the lock screen, you don't see all the new clocks. Okay, not a big deal. Uh, you can see them right here. So if I go to always on display, uh, I've got all these, oops, I've got all these uh, different clock styles that are new, such as this guy over here, okay, this one, uh, this one, this one, this one. Uh, this is nice on the side over here. And of course, you can change the color as you please as well. So that's great. So that's for the always on display. Now, one thing with the always on display that they have added on Samsung One UI is if you tap on this, you now have three options here. You can actually, I'm sorry, not over here, uh, over here under display mode. So if I tap on display mode, you have the option to tap to show, show always, or show as scheduled. Now, previously, you could only show the always on display uh, for these two options. So it was always on. Now I can do tap to show. So if I turn off the phone, let me turn it off, there is no always on display, but if I tap the phone, it is gonna show it to me because it's uh, set to the tap to show mode. So that's gonna save a lot of battery life, but still give you the always on display uh, that a lot of people actually like. And of course, some people are wondering if there's gonna be any new thing with the S Pen. As of now, everything with the S Pen is the same. So if I go to the advanced features, Here's the S Pen. You've got the S Pen remote control and the regular S Pen functionality. Uh, these are all the same. Uh, let me pull out the pen really quickly and show you what the Air Command menu looks like. It's almost the same. So here's the S Pen. Let's go back out. Uh, let's launch the Air Command menu. And as of now, everything is going to be the same. I'm not sure if there's going to be some surprise additions uh, later, but for now, S Pen functionality has not changed one bit. Okay, so some of the other things that I want to look at over here is if you go to the settings, uh, if you tap on the uh, device care, uh, this is the same thing as the device maintenance that you have on your phone right now, just looks a little bit different. Uh, you have the battery over here, you can tap on the power modes and pick all these different various power modes. Uh, you can go into the storage management utility here and do a cleanup and just uh, browse through your files if you want to. You got the memory feature, you can clean the memory if you want, that's the RAM. And then of course you have the security that allows you to uh, enable an anti-malware software, anti-virus software that can scan your phone uh, for suspicious activity. So that's that, all right? Uh, but that's basically most of the things with the Samsung One UI. You got this new interface looking nice, everything comes towards you. Go to the settings, you can pull it down towards you a uh, little bit looks a little bit better. Uh, the overall performance is a little bit more snappy. You got, Of course, you've got this option now. Again, it's very fast. There's no lag. But again, this is a beta, so there's going to be some bugs and some uh, problems. But they will be fixed by the time the actual full version is released for the consumers in January.
And if I go into the apps over here, if I launch the calculator, uh, it looks almost the same, not a big difference. Uh, but I do want to let you know, if you do go to the settings and you turn on the night mode, most of the uh, base Samsung apps are going to uh, also turn black and white, except for the calculator for now. So if I do go to the calendar, let's see if that, that is affected. Okay, if I go to the phone, that's black and white. Go to the messages, black and white. So just remember the dark mode is going to apply to Samsung specific applications, but it's not going to modify other applications. And again, if you go to the phone dialer, you'll see all these uh, buttons are at the bottom. Again, you can, so you can use them with one hand. In your current Note 9, if you look at it, all these buttons are on the top over here. All right. Now, one thing I wish they did modify as well is when you go to the app drawer, the search bars on the top, uh, I think they should take this and put it at the bottom over here. Uh, so it's consistent with uh, with that one hand uh, reach. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video. This was a first look at the Samsung One UI running on the Note 9. That's going to be coming down to consumers very soon. All right, for now, have a fantastic day, guys. But make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech for constant updates on these Samsung One UIs and Android Pie. All right, have a great day.